Welcome, traveler. Pull up a seat and get comfortable. I have a story to tell you. The story of the Dragonborn, slayer of Alduin, savior of Tamriel. Like most origin stories, this one stems from a tragic set of circumstances. It begins 25 years after the end of the Great War, with Talos worship now outlawed as a result of the signing of the White Gold Concordat. Tension amongst the people of Skyrim was an all-time high, so much so that civil war had broken out across the region. Imperials fighting Stormcloaks, brothers fighting brothers, sisters fighting sisters, sisters fighting brothers. Skyrim was full of anger and chaos. Skyrim needed a hero. And as fate would have it, a hero was in the making, here to restore peace and give hope for a better tomorrow. We pick up their story following the tragic end of their parents, cut down in the middle of the night by the Thalmor for having disobeyed the law and continuing the worship of Talos in secret. Our hero, simply known as Willow at the time, managed to hide and escape the Thalmor. Traumatized and now on the run, she travels for hours upon hours, leaving her homeland of Cyrodiil behind her and crossing over the border and into Skyrim. Feeling exhausted, frostbitten, crippled with sadness and disbelief, Willow collapses to the ground. What the hell? Get her up and take her back to the border guard tower. There should be a spare bed. Hopefully she makes it through the night. She looks frozen. I don't think the General will appreciate that, but I guess we have no choice, do we? She will definitely die if we leave her here. Ah, come on then. The border guards, not sure if the young lady will make it or not, take her back to the guard tower next to the border, putting her to bed, hoping she is stronger than she looks. They would just have to wait and see. It was up to the gods now. What's... what's going on? Ugh, I feel bloody rough. Where the hell am I? Did I make it over? Don't remember much. Hey you, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? You collapsed just as you made it into Skyrim. We thought you were a goner. Stronger than you look. Which is good as you need to leave. The General's going to be here soon. He finds you here. We're all dead. Check those drawers over there. There's basic armor we give to recruits. It's not much, but Skyrim is a dangerous place and you'll need all the help you can get. I'll be back in five minutes. You had better not be here when I return. Good luck. Thank you. You've done more than enough. I'll be on my way. I'd have been dead had it not been for these guards. Best get out of their way. Don't want them to get into trouble. Ugh, what's happened to these? I have no idea what I'm going to do now. Where do I go? Those Thalma bastards will pay for what they did. I just need to get stronger, more powerful. Then I'll take my revenge, send those fuckers to hell. Baby steps though, let's just hope I can survive the first day. The only place I've heard of in Skyrim is Whiterun. It's where my father is from. Was from. Fuck! I guess I head there. Maybe someone knew him and can help me out. Not many other options right now, I guess. Can't dwell on mother and father too much. Need to focus on the present. Like finding somewhere to stay. Right, let's get this armour on and get out of here. Not very stylish, but if it helps me survive, it will do for now. Can't say it's going to help with the cold either. Better than nothing, though, hey? Off to Whiterun, then, I guess. Shit, I can't believe this is happening. On my own in fucking Skyrim. 
I hope Whiterun isn't far. Cyrodiil North Border Crossing. It's going to be a long, long time before I see you again. Sorry, Mother. Sorry, Father. They'll all pay. Every last one of them. So, this is Skyrim, huh? Sure, it looks beautiful, but my god, it's freezing. Looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. Great. We'll just have to keep moving. Need to stay warm. I am feeling a bit anxious now. The guard said Skyrim was a dangerous place. I have no weapons, nothing. Mother did teach me one spell, though, but it's been so long since I practiced it. Why didn't I ask to learn more? Should have spent more time with her. She was a fantastic mage. Conjure familiar. I can't remember the last time I used this. Been a long time since I last saw Ghost. Father always preferred that I learned more practical skills, like using a bow or swinging a sword. Can't say I was too great at those either. At least I can build a good campfire. Could be the difference between life and death if I can't find anywhere to stay. Okay, best get a move on. Don't want to get caught out here in the dark. What's this in my pocket? Feels like a bunch of paper. Oh, wow, a map! I guess each recruit gets given a map of Skyrim. It was left in the pocket of this armour. Very helpful. Where in Talus's name is Whiterun? I hope it isn't far. Um, where the fuck is it? Ah, there it is. Whiterun. Holy crap. That's quite far. Need to get my arse into gear. There's another town that's closer. Falkreath. Good to know. So fucking cold. A jog should help warm me up. Finding that map was a godsend. About time I had a bit of good luck. Skyrim sure is pretty. My father always told me how beautiful it was. Wish we could have visited it together. I'm just praying someone from Whiterun remembers him. Someone kind enough to help me out. If not, I have no clue what to do next. I guess I worry about that when I need to. Just have to focus on getting there for now. Am I even heading in the right direction? I'm so bad with navigation. Nope. Figures, fuck me. I'm not going to last a day. Oh, I hope I get better at this shit. Guess I go up here, take a little shortcut maybe? doesn't look like there's a path down. Need to go steady. One slip and I could be in serious trouble. Easy does it. At least there appears to be a path ahead. Best try and stay away from any potential shortcuts. Don't fancy breaking my neck trying to traverse a cliff. Stick to the paths, probably safer. Looks like there's a big building down the path. I can't risk it right now. I can't really defend myself from anything. I should be able to bypass the building. Doesn't appear to be on a route I need to go. I'll stay low to keep out of sight, just in case. Okay, that's maybe too low. 
Ooh, a little roll too. Looks like I'm still learning how my limbs function. I'll blame it on the cold weather. Breaking my own rules already. Stick to the path, Willow. You fucking idiot! What do we have here then? Mother taught me a little alchemy. It's useful to know. Only thing is, you have to eat the ingredients to learn their magical properties. Never been too keen on that part, which is what put me off learning it any further. Guess I just need to push through that. It's too important right now. Here goes nothing. Okay, not as bad as I thought. Guess there are worse things than flowers to taste, though. Need to stop moaning. Might taste like shit, but it will help me brew up some useful potions. The roads are a lot quieter than I was expecting. Not sure if that's a good or a bad thing. At least I haven't run into any trouble. Yet. Should stock up on ingredients whenever I see them. Can always try and sell them when I make it to Whiterun if I don't end up using them. What the fuck is that light coming down from the sky? Looks like it's coming from some kind of crystal. Ugh, now I keep getting distracted by the ingredients. I can't help myself. Should go and take a closer look at that crystal. Never seen anything like it before. Just after I grab some more of these. I have issues, I know. Strangely, I'm not scared of it. Quite the opposite. It's making me feel at ease, almost comforting me. How odd. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I can feel the crystal calling out to me. It wants me to touch it. Willow, can you hear me? You're not going insane, I promise. You aren't hearing voices in your head. Well, I mean, technically you are, but you're not insane. Um, maybe I shouldn't have done that? By activating that crystal, you have given me, your spirit guardian, the ability to communicate with you. Please do not be afraid. I'm here to assist and help guide you. What? Well, fuck me. This day just keeps getting more confusing. A spirit guardian. Never heard such crap in all my life. Get the fuck out my head. I know it's a lot to take in. I will leave for now, but when you are ready, let me know and we can talk. I really do just want to help you. No thanks. Now fuck off. I can't deal with this bullshit right now knew that the crystal had to be cursed or something. Just my fucking luck. Am I even going the right way? This town appears to be on fire. Think I'll bypass it, find a way around it. Knowing how well my day has been going so far, best to stay clear of it. No signs for White Run, but I know Riverwood was en route according to the map. Looks like I'm heading in the right direction at least. Finally lost my mind hearing voices. They say traumatic events can trigger shit like that. Well, at least he didn't sound like a demon or evil. Guess that's a bonus. Should probably visit a healer or a priestess as soon as I can. Maybe they can perform some kind of exorcism on me. Spirit guardian, really? <sighs> Where was he when my fucking parents were killed? I'm losing the plot. Focus. Get to Whiterun. Get somewhere to stay. Get coin by doing jobs. That's my only focus right now. Helgen carriage stop. 
Maybe I can catch a carriage into Whiterun. That would be amazing. My legs are killing me. Huh? Where's the carriage? Hello? Mr. Carriage Driver? You around? Guess not. Must have already picked up some passengers. I probably don't have the coin for it anyway, but begging was always an option. I hope it isn't too much further now. It won't be long until night time. I'd better try to conjure ghost, make sure I remember how. It's been a while. Ground looks really muddy. Can familiars get dirty paws? I'll summon him over here instead. Oh, ghost, I have missed you. It's been so long. Look at you. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are. You're a good boy. So nice to see a familiar face. Oh, shit. Accidental pun? Get it, ghost. Familiar face. And, well, you're a familiar. Swoosh. Gone right over his head. Either way, it's nice to have some company was starting to feel a bit lonely. Come on, ghost. Good old ghost. Always has my back. He'll protect me if I run into any trouble. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. Forgot the summon doesn't last long. I need to get better at magic. Hopefully keep him around a little longer each time. Looks like the sun won't be up for a lot longer. Better get a move on. Hmm. Left or right? Better go a bit further up, see if I can see anything. What a view. Looks almost like an oil painting. So pretty. Wonder what that place is over there. Looks a little ominous. Father wasn't wrong. Skyrim looks so beautiful. I can't see much besides trees. Not sure being up here is helping me much, to be honest. Better make my way down. That place gives me the creeps. Ugh. Shivers down the spine vibes. Wonder what the hell it is. Not really sure I want to find out, to be fair. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted again. Come on, Willow, focus. It's starting to get late. Oh, shit. Another person. Don't panic. Calm. Um, hello? Hello? What the hell? I think your dog is broken. I don't have time to stop, sorry. Bit rude, but I guess he was in a hurry. I only wanted to pat the dog, that freaked me out a bit. I must just be tired, feels like I've been travelling for so long now. I need rest. How much bloody further is it? May just have to stay at the first place I can find. I don't think I will beat the night. And I really don't fancy being on these roads in the dark. some thistle. I'll have me some of that, please. Some red mountain flowers, too. Yup. Ha! Huh. So Riverwood is down this way. Looks like you get to Falkreath up that road. 
Maybe I'll go see it one day. Who knows? Hello, hello. What do we have here then? Looks like an ancient site of some sort. Very interesting. Three massive stones. Wonder what the hell they're all about then? Looks like they have some symbols or markings on them. The Guardian Stones. Okay. Cool. Ugh, what are these things? The Thief Stone. Okay. The Mage Stone. Yep. All right. The Warrior Stone. Now, I guess I have to choose one or something like that, right? Difficult decision, but I think I'll go with the Mage Stone for now. I'll need all the help I can get with increasing my magical abilities. Ghost is my only defence right now. Let's hope I'm at least half the mage my mother was. Here goes nothing. Master of the Arcane. Those under the sign of the mage cast more effective spells and scrolls. Mage's path. They gain additional experience in all mage skills. Oh, pretty! Now that's pretty awesome. Oh! It's over! Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well. Oh! What do we have here, then? The Amulet of the Warrior. All combat skills increase 10% faster. Sweet! Are there any more of these just lying about like that? abso bloody lootly. Amulet of the Mage. Magic skills improve 10% faster. Nice! Amulet of the Thief. All stealth skills increase 10% faster. Great little finds. Kinda feels like stealing, but I'm desperate all right. You could say I'm trying to increase my Thief skills by, well, stealing, I guess. Although that wasn't technically stealing, I mean, they were just lying there. Fuck! Who cares? Should probably wear one of them. Uh, yeah, should definitely put one on. I do want to get better with a sword, so the warrior one, I guess. There we go. Wearing it can only help me. Have to be close to Riverwood now, surely. I can't keep getting distracted. It's going to be night time real soon. Ho! Oh, I wonder where that path goes. No, Willow, stop it! Focus! Need to get to Riverwood! Oh, wow! What a nice-looking river! Well, if you ignore all the random debris... Wonder where the source of the river is? That must be Riverwood in the distance. Not much further to go, that's a relief. I'm not sure how much further I could have gone on. Oh, fuck! Wolves! Come on, ghost, please save my arse. Shit! There's no way Ghost will be able to take on this whole pack on his own. I'm royally fucked. Screw it! I'm making a run for it! Shit! It's gaining on me! Ah! Fuck that hurt! Ah. Fuck me, I think it stopped chasing me. Ah. Yeah, it has. That was too damn close. Well, Ghost was pretty damn useless. My magic skills leave a lot to be desired. This must be Riverwood then. Talos be praised, I made it! And almost in one piece. 
Pretty sure one of those wolves got a good chunk of my ass cheek, motherfuckers. Looks nice here, very scenic. Let's hope they have a place for me to stay. And for relatively cheap. I only have 50 coin. Need to find work quickly. So hungry. My stomach is rumbling so bad, can't think about food though. A roof over my head is the priority right now. I'll be alright though. I remember I once went three days without eating when father was out of work. It was a struggle, but we got through it. Looks like they have a campsite set up just outside the main gates. That's handy, I guess. Maybe I could stay in one of those tents if they don't have anywhere else to stay. What I would give to see her again. Ah! What the fuck? Who was that? Great, I'm hearing things again. Is that you, spirit guardian man? Thought I told you to get the fuck out of my head. Ugh, I was never going to die in bed anyway. That doesn't sound like it's coming from my own head. Where the hell is that coming from? Where is that voice coming from? It's driving me mad! I can't see anyone! Oh, over there! Thank fuck! I'm not going insane! Phew! It's just that dude sat on the ledge. Riverwood is stunning. Better go and see if they have an inn or something. I'm proper tired now. Another one of those spirit guardian light thingies. Definitely staying far away from those things. A room for a night, maybe some food. Do I really only have 50 coin? Shit, appears so... Maybe I can sell some things in town, like my old clothes perhaps. Not sure who would want to buy them, but there's always a lot of weirdos around. Who knows? Ooh, there's a guard coming, I think. Better keep a low profile. The Thalmor could have already put a bounty out on me. Good day, sir. Good day to you, miss. Whew! Okay, so there's a blacksmith. Hopefully has some cheap weapons available. Looks like there's a trader here, too. Should see if it's still open, try and sell some stuff. Ah, you know what? On second thoughts, I'm far too tired to try bartering. We'll only get ripped off. Should visit in the morning after some rest. Riverwood sure is beautiful. Small but pretty. A bit like me, I guess. The Sleeping Giant Inn. Perfect. Let's hope they have a spare room available. Looks nice enough. Another guard. Their armour looks so badass. I'd be able to kick so much butt if I was wearing something like that. I can't wait until I get my hands on some proper armour and weapons. Then I'd show the Thalmor what for. Right! Let's go see if they have a room available and if I can even afford it. Will be nice to just get out of the cold for a little while. Ah! Damn person stood right in front of the door. Oi! Sir! Lots of game to be caught out there. Okay, hello? What can you tell me about Riverwood? Honestly, it's got everything you could want. The hunting is good, and it has plenty of travelers coming and going, always looking to trade. There are far worse places to grow up. You grew up here then? Yes, along with my sister, Isgurder. She ended up marrying Brandolf, the alchemist. Right, cool. Know of anywhere I can stay? 
Sure, the Sleeping Giant Inn. Just off the main road as you're heading out of town. You can't miss it. I think this guy's brain is broken. Any shops? Lucan runs the Riverwood Trader. Great selection. I'm sure he'd have just about anything you're looking for. Though, if what you're looking for is a sharp blade or sturdy bow, I'd try Alvor. Got this bow from him just last week. Truly fine craftsmanship. What do you do around here? I spend most of the day hunting. People have to eat, you know. I catch what I can. Sell some to Delphine or Orgnar at the Sleeping Giant. Sell the pelts to Lucan or Alvor. Of course, I keep some of the meat for Rosalie to cook up for dinner. That woman is a mage when it comes to preparing meals. It's good hunting here. Oh, absolutely. The valley is teeming with game. Both the sort you can hunt, and the sort that will hunt you. I really like it here. Take care. You too. That could be a way to make some coin hunting. Just need a bow or something. Hello, me lady. You're that visitor been poking around. What you talking about? Literally just got here. Just need a room for the night. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Private bath. Interesting. We'll check that out when I have more coin, perhaps. Heard any rumors lately? Word is Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Not sure who that is? Doesn't sound good, though. Ten coin for the room. Not too bad, I guess. This inn is pretty cosy. Not too shabby at all. Even have an alchemy station over there. Very nice indeed. Oh, who's this chap? Good day, sir. We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. I'm looking for a little work. Wondered if there was anything you needed help with. Maybe you can help me. Sure, what is it? Of course. Of course. It's all in this note. Of course. This is an of course. Staunch protectors. The all right, then. Let's see this note. So he's after six juniper berries and four chicken eggs. We'll see what I can do, I guess. I need to get myself to bed. It's been a hell of a journey to get here. Bloody knackered. Oh, my days, and that food looks so good. Hopefully I'll be able to make some coin tomorrow and buy some. If not, may just have to resort to a bit of petty theft. Down with Ulfric. That guy singing is bloody loud. Hope I can get some sleep. We will drink and we'll sing. We're children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. Oh, it feels so good to sit down. My legs are absolutely killing me. I should be safe here for the night. So glad to have made it to Riverwood just as it was starting to get dark. Ugh. So fucking tired. Can barely keep my eyes open. What a day. I'll just sit here for a minute. In the ethereal embrace of dreams, my dearest Willow, daughter of mine, do you feel my presence? Though parted by the veil that separates the living from the departed, know that my spirit lingers near, watching over you with a mother's eternal love. Oh, how my heart aches to see you burdened with the weight of our untimely departure, slain by the vile hands of the Thalmor for our devotion to Talos. But fret not, my child, for the divines have woven a tapestry of destiny for you, one that shall lead you to greatness beyond measure. In the depths of your slumber, 
I beseech you, embrace the spirit guardian I've summoned with the last flickers of my fading magic. Seek out the crystals scattered across Skyrim, for they hold the key to strengthening the bond between you and your spectral protector. Do not carry the burden of guilt upon your shoulders, my sweet willow, for fleeing Cyrodiil was not a choice made in cowardice, but one born of necessity. The blame lies not with you, my child, but with the tyranny that sought to snuff out our faith. Know this, my darling daughter, that though we are separated by the veil of mortality, my love for you knows no bounds. Take solace in the knowledge that one day, when your journey in this realm has reached its end, we shall be reunited once more. Embrace your destiny, my dear Willow, for the gods have carved a path for you, though its twists and turns remain veiled in mystery. Walk it with courage and conviction, for you are destined for greatness beyond imagining. We love you always and forever. Goodbye, my sweet Willow. Destiny awaits you. Now wake up!